are watching this video right now i want you to take a clean sheet of paper sit alone in a room take a pen and write down everything you can regarding what circumstances or situations that brought you to this place first okay what made you repeat and what went wrong in the first attempt of it write everything down all the family circumstances what about uh, the enjoyment that you had what went wrong in the first attempt write it down now keep that book aside okay now the only one thing that matters right now is you having one year ahead of you and after that year you are going to give final exam of need in that one year whatever you can maximize from that time you have to you know capture that time and uh, put the maximum effort so that you'll get best of results in the final of need now what is my principle all right it's only one thing study six hours every day it doesn't matter all right just you know uh, the next day plan six hours whatever it takes okay you are going to study six hours not more than this not less than this it's, it's going to be six hours if you complete the six hours in a particular day then you can go to sleep if not then you have to put in the work so that you complete those six hours in that particular day and then you can go enjoy the rest of the day so maintain this from day one all the way up to the final exam day of the need okay you are going to study six hours no matter what and that six hours is for the normal weekends where you have classes with your coaching centers as well but if you are getting the weekends or holidays i want you to maximize that six hours to 10 hours okay now your main priority is only three subjects we have the physics chemistry and biology all right now understand what is your weakest point out of these three subjects is it physics is it chemistry or is it biology understand what is your weakest point why are you losing marks or you can also say what went wrong in the first attempt of need uh, what was the subject that you scored the least okay that is what you have to focus on i suppose i take it as a physics now in that six hours that you are producing in every day put for, uh, three hours for physics then put two hours for chemistry followed by one hour in biology and this depends on your weakest subject if your weakest subject is biology put three hours for it if your weakest subject is chemistry put three hours for it all it matters is that you are you know uh, practicing a lot of that particular subject which has brought you down in the first attempt that's what matters oh, and that's what you have to maximize at this point all right so six hours i told you every day and in those six hours i also i am also telling you that maximum hours should be spent on the weakest subjects of your choice okay that is number one thing the second thing is you have to plan every day before going to bed at night plan the next day what you are going to do when are the classes scheduled are they scheduled from morning 6 to 1 or are they scheduled from morning 7 to 1 or from afternoon best like mine i had classes from 2 to 8 when are the classes scheduled and when you have the most free time so my classes was from 2 to 8 in the evening now i had entire free time in the morning from all the way up to morning 7 all the way up to 1 i had entire free time now what i did i maximized in the morning hours i woke up early at around 7 7 30 and everything was over by the time of 8 30 and from 8 30 to 12 30 i maximized my learning and in the uh, the morning is the peak concentration of my ability so what i did when i had the peak concentration my lowest subject or my weakest subject was physics so when i had my maximum concentration in the morning i took physics in the morning and i straightly studied for three hours no it uh, physics you know you are, you are not mugging that subject up okay you're just solving questions okay one question is over you move on to the next one more is over you move on to the next you solve as many questions as possible in the mean given time in the final exam you are going to get uh, 45 questions from the physics part and uh, you won't have much time for the physics so if you can you know try to solve maximum number of questions of physics in that given one hour at a time and you keep on improving so you suppose you solve 60 questions in one hour and move on to 70 move on to 80 move on to 90 you have to speed in the process up of uh, physics solving the questions so that was the first thing uh, so find out what is your maximum uh, level of concentration either it's in the evening or it's in the morning or it's early morning or it's late at night from 12 to 3 or whatever so understand that your peak concentration time is what you have to maximize in uh, learning the weaker subject of your choice so that is number one thing now second thing did i only study ncrt or did i also use the module so what did i use so any topic you take uh, firstly i went for the ncrt all right and ncrt i solve all the questions suppose it's biology i read the ncrt first you know coming to biology biology ncrt you know you have to uh, you have to have mugged up every line of the ncrt okay even with the it and everything you have to mug it up it is so important just that you know they just dub the questions from the ncrt and directly 
put it out there on the question paper so those two books of ncert 11th and 12th should be at your fingertips now once you have mastered ncert and you want to you know uh, broaden your knowledge of biology then you move on to the module any coaching institute akash allen or vision so they will give a set of notes all right the biology now this biology contains not only the textbook contents it contains some of the extra points as well so that your knowledge is broadened so that you will understand the better you have a top edge at the competition so now it's time for you to mug the ncert and move on to the module now the same thing you do to the module what are the maximum points what are all the maximum questions that you can solve solve from the module and also now tick it module i have completed now after completing the module it's time for you to solve some questions you can either take a question banks or in the online series or you can take question banks from the uh, these uh, uh, question banks are available in the market as well so buy those books and then allot yourself a given time all right either it can be from 45 minutes to 60 minutes or 1 hour or 2 hour whatever time it takes allot that time and allot the number of questions that you are going to solve in those given time and stick to it all right so uh, in that given time i am going to solve 45 questions and i am going to solve it i am going to solve 60 i am going to solve don't get up from your place before you know uh, touching that end point so that's what you have to focus on uh, biology understand that you have to you have to have entire line of ncert marked up in your fingertips then go for your uh, Uh, coaching institute modules understand everything read from that line to line and also try to maximize your learning potential then move on to the questions try to solve maximum number of questions in the given time of that module then you can go for the extra questions as well from the outer subjects of your choice so that's about the biology now moving on to chemistry chemistry you have to do the same thing but here not only you know uh, every reaction of chemistry that is available in the textbook again you have to have it at your fingertips any reaction you take organic inorganic that reaction if it is given in the textbook then there is high 60 to 80 percent of chance that the same uh, uh, question or reaction is going to come in the exam so maximum of your uh, reactions or whatever the examples that they, they have given in your uh, chemistry book it's always always almost it's going to come in your exam so first you know grasp that uh, entire knowledge of chemistry all right in from the ncert then like i told you in biology now move on to the knowledge from the module whatever module your coaching institute has given use utilize it and try to solve as many questions as possible now after uh, you know uh, learning from the module again you set aside a fixed amount of time and uh, set aside a fixed amount of questions and you are not going to get up before solving those questions in that given allotted time so follow this every day for physics chemistry and biology and now i'm telling you the maximum competition is in physics it's not in biology it's not in chemistry you know everybody can mug up so uh, everybody has a high knowledge of biology you can see many of our friends are uh, scoring 330 340 350 also 360 in the biology and many of our friends will be scoring 170 175 180 in chemistry as well but look at physics physics score will be around 100 120 140 160 maximum in any coaching institute you take so the maximum score will be 160 so why are the even toppers are lagging in the physics because physics uh, the questions vary the you know the intelligent level the creative level that requires to solve a particular question it varies among the different people now if physics your is your weakest point that uh, now that is where you have to take an edge over all of your other competitors all right you have to finish the biology you have to finish the chemistry keep it aside and uh, you know you are focused only on solving the physics now for my strategy for solving physics is that as i told you give uh, give a set of allotted time and uh, you know go through the previous 10 years question papers this take the same 45 questions and set aside only 45 minutes okay now your uh, job is to solve as many questions as possible in those given 45 minutes first day you must solve 30 questions the second day you must solve 40 questions and you know uh, move on as the day progresses every day you can solve maximum number of questions now that there, there a time comes when you can solve 45 questions in the 45 minutes as well now it's time for you to move on to the speed now it's time for you to solve 60 questions in the 45 minutes 70 questions you know try to maximize your potential in the part of physics okay now after solve those questions and you evaluate yourself what went wrong in each of the questions suppose out of 45 questions you got 30 correct and 15 wrong okay now why did you get those 15 wrong and uh, the major of questions that were wrong and th- those are from which chapter you just find out okay which chapter is your weakest and why are those questions going wrong now it is time for you to sit, uh, sit aside set one hour and go through that chapter once again why are you going wrong okay now it's time for you to uh, you know solve 10 to 15 questions of that chapter okay every day second day third day so that now the after a week when you solve 45 questions again uh, it's time for you to evaluate what went wrong and also looking back on the weakest chapters of your test so that is what you have to do in the physics only one thing remember try to 
you know maximum uh, solve almost all the all the questions of your module or coaching institute whatever they are given try to solve as many questions as possible what i have found that uh, you know around six, uh, 60 to 80% of the questions that i solved in my module or in any coaching center the same questions are going to come in the final exam just the numeric numericals or the numbers will be different the same module of the question is going to come in your exam so just the numbers will be different that's what i'm telling you so if you already solved that similar question in your past in the module now it will be easier for you to solve in the final exam so this is what you have to understand you know trying to solve maximum number of questions in physics is directly you know proportional to number of questions you are going to end up solving in the final exam of need so this is what you have to do for physics chemistry and biology now you can you know this is the strategy that i used you know trying to uh, scale up my progression in the solving maximum number of questions in the given time oh okay follow the strict schedule you know same plan every day 6 hours and also follow this timetable of what are all the weaker subjects make that the first priority of your uh, uh, choice and then move on with the head now just before the exams you have two uh, two months okay two months before the exams it's time for you to set aside some of the chapters you might you might not have read okay it's it's for, uh, time for you to leave those chapters okay don't don't disturb those chapters you do, don't want to you know uh, confuse yourself with the new chapters as well so last two months before the exam i want you to focus entirely on question papers okay if it is possible for you try to solve three to four questions three to four question papers every day and not in three hours not one question paper not in three hours one question paper for one and a half hours try to solve three to four question papers every single day and then you will you will sit at the end of the day one hour you will check all the answers and also the same thing you have to do what went wrong why were my questions wrong of this particular subject of this particular chapter why was it wrong okay it's time for you to after evaluating for that one hour then it's time for you to sit aside two hours and focusing on those weak subjects you have lost mo uh, most of the questions from so that's what you have to do of the last two months before your need final exam okay try to solve maximum number of questions and understand that where you are going wrong and try to improve upon them and some of the chapters you uh, if you are not touched in the end so don't go to touch them in the end as well last one month or last two months it's not time for you to touch new chapters and burden yourself with a lot of confusion and learning so if you are left if you are skipped some of the chapters it's okay for you just don't burden yourself at the end and it's time to focus off focus on your strongest point of all of the individual subjects so this is what you have to do so suppose if you are repeating for uh, need 20, 2023 or any of the year just listen carefully listen why did you start okay why are you here in this situation and what brought you to this now there is only one thing you can uh, get out from here you can go you can only come out of this successful getting a good medical college that's what you have to do to make your parents proud as well so remember this in mind and uh, keep this in the memory and focus on yourself work on yourself every day and uh, i'll i can ensure you that you are going to come up successful in the neat exam so thank you and uh, i'll see in the next video bye if we hold ourselves together we'll go far created a space in my head it was empty